Okay guys, Mr. Antonucci here. And in this video, I wanna to talk to you a little bit about increments and slope. So what is an increment? An increment is a change in variable. For example, such as T as it goes from T sub one to T sub two. Same things with X's and Y's. You're typically used to seeing this in terms of slope with change in X over change in Y, or maybe in a, a motion problem where you see Delta T. Notice that in each case, you're taking the difference of the second value minus the first one. So if we want to find the coordinate increments from a 1 comma 2 to b negative 1 comma negative 1, I recommend you label them x1, y1 and x2, y2. And then the increment for x is x2 minus x1. So here x2 is negative 1 minus x1, which is 1, so that would be negative 2. And the increment for y or delta y or change in y is y2 minus y1, which is negative 1 minus 2. And so the increment there is negative 3. Pretty straightforward there. Uh, just a quick example for you there. OK, so let's talk a little bit about linear function. A linear, uh, so for linear function, the variable y is a linear function of x if the ratio of the increment of y to the increment of x is constant. In other words, delta y divided by delta x equals a constant. This is really just talking about slope. In this case, we have, you could solve for change in y, and it would be equal to the constant times delta x. Now, here we could get into slope. So you have two points, x1, y1, and x2, y2, on the graph of a linear function. Then the slope is the ratio of those increments. It's change in y over change in x. You're used to this as rise over 1 or the slope formula, like you have right here, y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. And here on our graph, you could see that if you have a line, it's a linear function, and you go from this first point to this second point, the horizontal distance is the change in x that's called our run, and the vertical distance, it's the change in y that's called our rise. And the slope is the ratio of rise over run, or change in y over change in x. Now, you can use slope to find coordinates. So for example, if you're given a line containing the point three comma five and slope Two, we want to find the y coordinate of the point on the line with x coordinate x equals 4.5. So what do we know? We know uh, two x values, so we can get the increment of x. That's x2 minus x1. So x2 is going to be our 4.5 because that's the second x value we know, minus 3. So you have 1.5. We also know slope is increment of y over increment of x, which is 2. So the increment of y is equal to the constant times the change in x, which we just figured out that the increment of x is 1.5. So 2 times 1.5 is 3. Now we're not done. We found the increment of x, or excuse me, y, that's the change in y. And we were asked to find the actual y coordinate. Well, if you remember, the increment of y is equal to y2 minus y1. We know y2 is 5. And we know the increment of x is 3. We don't know, oh, excuse me. Excuse me, we're, we're solving for y2. We know that y1 is 5. OK? so y2 equals, um, you just add 5 to the other side, and you get 8. So the y value, the y coordinate, would be 8 for this particular situation. All right, guys, hope that video was helpful to you in terms of slope and increments, and you take care.